daylight is uh, it's like anything else uh, the daylight um, component is part of the current whatever the current fad in architecture is they went through a stage of no windows some windows daylighting becomes very prominent um, but daylight's always been a critical part of the things you consider even if there's not much daylight in the building it's very important how you cite the building citing because mm -hmm. if you were citing a hotel in Florida you'd have to be very careful when you located that building that it didn't cast a shadow all day over the swimming pool so you have to have this awareness of what it's like and you have to have an awareness of you know just the quality of light it exists during the day if you're doing a street. How does the quality of light affect that stuff? How does um, the quality of light on that street going to impact how you design the lighting for your entrance to the building? And what, it, what impact does the lobby have? You know, how, what is the relationship of that? And then how do you make a transition from through the times of day. So you have to, daylight is always considered, no matter, you know, people talk about daylighting now, they think about interior. Daylighting is everything. It's the modeling, the sculpting, the, the, the you know, the um, transition space the, to the, you know, the entry to the project. The lobby is only a transition space until you hit your destination in the building. All of that has to be considered from the daylight or night light on it through every area you go through. When you arrive at your destination, there's an appropriate uh, response.